The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. I was angry. I think um, I'm still angry. I think that uh, um, accepting an instruction is part of um, a player's responsibility at this level of football. And I think that um, we try to give those instructions with the best information we possibly can with the time available. Um, these were clear instructions today because there was a very, very good performance by Swansea on Tuesday against Arsenal that that made you know made them a very, very good victory. Um, so we've been basing our plan on that, which is obvious when it's so so soon. It was only on Tuesday night when when they beat Arsenal. So. We set out to play like that, but unfortunately Swansea played the top of their game and we played the bottom of our game, which means to say that any tactics and any system you pick is absolutely worthless if your players don't play to their best. And if you play at the Emirates, you've got to play to your best all 11 if you're going to get anything out of the game. And unfortunately, none of our none of our first 11 on the, on the first half, any of them played anywhere near the best. And that's why we were tumbling goals left, right and centre with our pathetic performance. Defensively, are you seeing the same issues that you did before you took the job? Uh, yes, now and again. I, you know, and, and def Defensively, we work um, as just as much um, as we work in, in attacking um, offensively. We've been trying to bal balance the two off. When I first came in, it was nothing but defensive work to try and halt the goals that were going in. Now we've tried to move to the the offensive side of it, the losing the defensive side, and we're still not going to be a great team that scores a lot of goals. We have to face that for this season, you know. But none of it was any good in the first half. None of our attacking was any good, and certainly our defending was pathetic. We got better in the second half, but it's far too late. Uh, Tom Davis was very good. Uh, Dominic was good, scored a goal. And they're two of the youngest players in the squad, showing the older players what what they should have performed like at the start of the game. Um, so, so I was pleased with those two, but nobody else. Theo Walcott and the FC seem to set up a good working partnership. Is that has that given you at least some positivity going forward? Well, I was hoping Theo were going to score, but then it was a massive tackle from Mustafi. I think got back there, but uh, I think it's a shame. It's a shame the players. They've not just let themselves down, but when somebody comes back to a club like, like Arsenal and has been here 12 years, he wants to put on a good show. But I mean, clearly the the pathetic performance that we showed, just he didn't give him the opportunity to to go out against his old club and, and shine, like, you know. But, you know, for me, like I said, it's um, a lot of work to sort out again. Almost thinking we get there and then all of a sudden it falls backwards again. So it's like the moment one step forward and three steps back. Sorry, I just did just, uh, just over here. Sorry, I was going to ask you. I was going to Sorry. Ask, uh, um, <clears throat> he came on 15 minutes before the final whistle, and he, although he used to score quite a lot for Besiktas, but he doesn't seem to be getting his service at Everton. What is your expectation? Uh, uh, Why well, have you watched all the games? Sorry. Have you watched all the games? In the seasons he played for Besiktas. No, have you watched all our games? No, have you watched our games? Um, I have watched about three games. Three games, yeah. So he's had uh, service to him that he's not held up and has found it a bit of a struggle at this level because of the pace and the physicality of the game. So his service hasn't been too bad, but his old up play at the moment hasn't been like it was at Besiktas. So that's why he's he's not starting the games at the minute because he's finding it he's finding it tough going like every every player does, particularly when they come in January. So. I said from the start we wanted goals. He scored a lot of goals at Champions League and Besiktas, but may not hit the ground running for us. And he hasn't done that yet. But 
I'm sure he will do eventually. Um, but I'm more concerned about all the other players in there. About again, I'm more likely to feed him slowly and give him a bit more time um, uh, over the next few weeks. And hopefully by the end of the season, he starts games. Just here and then, you see. Sam, you said the other day you were reluctant to let Adam Ola Lukman go. Um, he scored today on his debut. He scored a winner um, out in Germany. Could you have done with him today? Does that rob Salter to the wind? No. I've got Yannick Balassi cost 30 million quid and I've got Theo Walcott cost 20 million quid. And both of them have got a lot more experience than, than Dom, uh, Dom Lukman. So, no. We were, if you put him out there, he wouldn't have done any better than the rest because the whole team played crap. Steve? Sorry, it's very reminiscent of the Tottenham game. The, the, the way you folded, which is kind of unlike your teams. Well, we folded at Tottenham after the second goal went in. We folded in the first half and didn't fold in the second. Right. So it was a bit reverse scenario, wasn't it? A, a wee bit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we did. So we came back that. And do you know Everton have scored more points than nearly anybody else from losing positions? Yeah, no, so, so we ain't that bad then, really, are we? No. We've folded in a couple of games, but our record says that we pick up as many points from losing positions as anybody else. Right. So we fail against Tottenham and we failed against today in the first half, but other times we actually come back to actually pick points up so you can all run away and check that stat. And if that stat's wrong, you've only got this man to blame because he told it me. <laughs> I had to take somebody off because that changed the system. So, so for me, um, uh, Michael Keane was the choice, but it could have been any of the eleven, apart from the goalie. All right, lads. Okay, thank you. And lasses.